Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I got a dinner. Finally! After all this time of waiting, I finally got a tenor saxophone. We got a little problem. The the cat is just chilling on top of it. You wanna you wanna get down? Here, give it a give it a little shot. Just uh try and just give a little give a little jump on the ground. Yeah, that's uh, that's not working. Well, I guess I'll get the tenor tomorrow. See you guys. No, I'm joking. Alright, get off. Now it's not a Yamaha or a Selmer. It's a brand you've probably never heard of in your life. This is a very special saxophone. Let's go ahead and unbox this sucker. Glow. Sorry, I don't normally swear on my videos, but this is a special occasion. This deserves it. It's a little heavy. Of course it is, it's a tanner. <laughs> Dude, I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped, bro. Are you kidding me? Whoops! A tenner? A tenner, bro? We gotta go get our knife. I had a box cutter, but I lost it. Alright, let's go ahead and begin unboxing the... <sighs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Relax. Let's get in there. Oh, yes. Are you kidding me? Whoops! Are you... I'm so hype, bro. Let's get in there. Oh, yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. Look at, oh, whoa, ho. what is this? Oh, shoot, Weisenberg. All right, breaking bad over here. Oh, no, that's Heisenberg. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what this is. I already love it. Let's get to that tenor, baby. Wow, <sighs> look at that, GL cases. I don't even know what that means. We got a big strap here, pretty fancy. We'll put this on the bed as well. Okay, it is time. Here we go. It's the moment of truth. What does this even look like? I don't even know what this looks like. Here we go. Oh shoot, okay, it was a teaser. It was a little teaser. Oh jeez. what is this? Man, it looks glorious. Oh, it came with a mouthpiece? Whoa, okay. Look at that. So I actually have a mouthpiece sent to me by Tim Lin. So I think I'm gonna play test on that because I just, you know, I really trust his equipment opinion and his opinion on everything in general. Oh man, wow, that's some vintage looking stuff. Look at that. We'll definitely use this instead of my $6 ligature that I bought today. Wasted that money. I could have spent that on a McDonald's McFroppy or something. You know what I mean? Darn. Ooh, we got a hefty Weisenberg neck strap. Wow, bougie. Look at that, Weisenberg. I think I love it, I do. Scotralite reflective material, cork grease. Let's look at this. Okay, very ownerful. Oh, this is just how to clean. And then this wonderful washcloth. It's time for the saxophone itself. I don't know if we can handle this. I hope we can handle this. Oh, let's do the neck first, just to save the best for last. I don't know what this horn looks like. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. I've never had an unlacquered horn before. I waited eight months for this to be built from hand, from scratch, specially built for me. What an honor, Mr. Ken. What an honor. This is love at first sight. This is unconditional love. This is the type of love that sets you for marriage. This is gonna last for me forever. Next is this oh my god i have a tenor let's go oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot ah, 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 ah. oh my god this is literally sexy oh my goodness look at that oh oh Look at that, bro. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. Look at the engraving. Whoa. Jesus. I love the bell and the key clamps. Look at the pearls. Beautiful. This looks like it's from a Disney movie. This looks like it's from The Wizard of Oz or something. Let's go ahead and put this together and try it out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
this big meaty bad boy. Check it out. This is meaty boy, bro. Look at that. <laughs> bad at this. This feels very unfamiliar. This is definitely not my territory. But I'd really like to get used to this thing. And I really like the feel of this horn. This is a very, very special horn. But I'm no tenor expert. So what I'm going to do is go to a tenor expert's house. I've actually never met him before. We've talked on Instagram for quite a while, but now that I live in Florida, I can just travel to his house and I can meet him for the first time. And this is a perfect excuse to listen to him play in person. All right, it's about four hours away. So let's go ahead and start driving. loves the Mario Kart like I'll literally be in here shedding like stuff whatever he'll open the door play it as loud as he can and then shut the door and then do, 10 minutes later same thing and he's obsessed with it yeah see well, listen here's the thing I've had my day I've played and I, I still do gigs and everything and whatever the Disney thing is is what it is because of COVID and all that but you know I live through my students now and and you know seriously I'm serious what you're doing is smart it's catching on, and the guys, every band room I go into, I play that lick, and they're like, oh, there's a Super Mario Kart, like, and it's sexual logic, and all that. So <laughs> that, that helps me get my, you know, get students interested, because, you know, if I don't want to be like the old fuddy-duddy that, like, you know, this is all that stuff. Like, it's not legit. Uh -huh. It is legit, because yeah. this is what's driving my students to want to play stuff, and they ask me this, do you know, do you know? So if I don't know it, right. I'm like the mm. old guy. I don't want to be like, the old guy. Yeah. Not, I want to adapt. You know, I don't yeah. want to be you know, mm. caught up in all that Glenn Miller. Can you um, give me give me that Mario Kart? Like, yeah, play the Mario Kart for his. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Oh, man, I was, I was hoping. All right, let me know. Okay. <laughs> This is like the, the, the seventh time he's done this in the last hour. So yeah. Every day with this man. Somewhere down the line, I'll have my students set it to because I can get eight guys like within an hour probably to play. I'm serious. They can do it. It's just spamming yeah, your that's... email. And then one bass trombone player, but he'll go. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, ba. <laughs> yeah, man, this is cool. So the the resonators are they're metal and they're a lot bigger than mine. Oh, really? I'm curious. Yeah, I really wonder what you think of it. I love it, but yeah, man, I've only played on a Yamaha. Right, right, right. Yeah, this is this is gonna play much different than a Yamaha, I would assume. But these are like huge metal resonators. Oh, it's time to resonate. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get resonated. Cool, man. I've never, and they're all the way up the keys too. Also, it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. When I saw it in your video, I was like, uh oh, I don't, I don't know how, like, you know how, like, modern horns can be, like, super, super, oh, like, yeah. heavy and dense and stuff? Uh-huh. It's heavy to me just because I'm so used to alto. Right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, man, that oh, looks no, so I don't cool. think so. <laughs> I don't think I can, I don't think I can do it. It seems like Ken Beeson knows a lot about necks, so he probably did something yeah. pretty specific. Probably, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Can I play it? Yes, absolutely. Right, <laughs> I'm so excited. Dude. Wow. Damn, damn. It resonates, man. That was I love awesome. that low B flat, you know. Uh. <laughs> 
Saxologics horn. <laughs> well, I mean, and it was like made for you too, dude. Like, oh yeah, that's good. Boy. I'm never washing this reed again. <laughs> no, dude. You know, I, 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 like being serious, like it's a really, really nice horn, and the metal is like really good quality. And dang, yes, sir, Ken Beeson. Yes, sir, dude. Custom shop model, dude. Look at that. Very custom and very custom, and very shoppy. Look at that. <laughs> Who doesn't like a? Uh, a good custom shop logo. Yes, sir. The because then when people are come up to you and be like, what is this horn? You can be like, it's custom. <laughs> but, and then they're like, Yamaha? And you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> 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 crazy <laughs> <laughs> this thing rips man uh, maybe we could do a third video where you give me a lesson <laughs> i'm down hey if you want all right i just got some gas I'm about to drive home but holy crap that was the funnest night ever ryan is such a funny dude that we just clicked so well and that was my first time meeting him and oh my god you think he sounds good on instagram you gotta hear him in person i feel so motivated to shed tenor now also Big, big shout out to Ryan's dad, dude. You're so funny. You're the awesomest. You're the coolest, man. I'm so glad I got to meet you. And thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers. Oh. <laughs> so weird to vlog in this car. I hope no one saw that. 100,000, what in the world? So I'm gonna do a contest and a giveaway soon, but I'd like to give a more formal announcement when that happens. So stay tuned for that. And I have a lot of video ideas coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. All right, well. You know the drill. Have a good night.